One of the biggest challenges in invasive weed management is the control of incipient weed populations in order to prevent these small isolated populations from becoming uncontrollable weed infestations. Incipient weeds are often in difficult to reach places, particularly in these natural areas where it's difficult to access. We don't have any means of transportation. A lot of our uh, weed control has to be done on foot. And right now our current technology is with the use of a backpack sprayer for spot treating or basil bark applications. This requires a lot of energy, a lot of resources, and a lot of manpower to have an effective incipient weed control strategy. I'd like to introduce a new technology, herbicide ballistic technology. Here we have a commercially available paintball gun running off a compressed air system. Here we have a prototype of a specially formulated herbicide in a gel cap. The process in manufacturing of these herbicide capsules is identical to the processing of the paintballs used in recreation. But instead of targeting people in recreation, we'll be targeting incipient weeds in these natural areas. The concept behind HBT is to provide a new technique in accurate, long-range, directed application of herbicide to weed targets. The technology in, in recreational paintball is quite advanced. This is a lower end air gun and I can still target weeds from over 100 feet away. What I'd like to demonstrate for you now is how I can use HBT to target this banana polka behind me across this ravine at well over 100 feet away. Safety's off. So here we are back at the site where HBT was administered to this banana polka patch across the ravine. And now we're about 50 days after application. As you can see, the herbicide has already taken effect. So I'm really excited about these early results showing that HBT is an effective herbicide application. So what we've been able to demonstrate with this HBT application is that imazapyr is a very effective chemistry in controlling banana polka. And with a closer look you'll notice the level of dieback at 50 days after application suggesting that a directed ultra low volume herbicide application with this technology can be an effective weed management strategy. The concept behind herbicide ballistic technology is to develop a strategy that utilizes the smallest amount of herbicide necessary to effectively control incipient weeds within our natural areas. The technology that we're using in HBT is the encapsulation of milli aliquots of herbicide so that we can identify the lowest amount of herbicide necessary for effective control on these incipient weeds in these areas. So conventional wisdom tells us that an effective herbicide application requires complete coverage of the canopy. Well here we have a, an Australian tree fern that's maybe about two years old, about a meter in height its trunk is, but its diameter is over, over 20 feet in diameter. That's a significant amount of area to cover, thus a lot of herbicide or a, a high volume in order to get effective application. So Trey, how are we able to use an ultra low volume technique to control Australian tree fern? Well, trials done by the State Department of Agriculture in the late 90s uh, indicated that a little bit of herbicide applied to the center of the plant, the growth, the growth center, or the apical meristem, would kill the plant. And so we've basically took that, took that study and have uh, expanded that to uh, this project. Today we're going to test out HBT on our model plant, Australian tree fern. We already previously described how herbicide applications to the apical growing point is lethal to the plant. Thus, a directed application with milli aliquots of herbicide through HBT is really ideal in this case. So today we're going to set up a rate study where we look at three different rates. One rate I really want to find out is how does one ball targeted at the apical growing point do. Then that also will look at five ball application and a ten ball application. Today we're going to use a Tipman Custom Pro 98 and uh, we've tested it out with some dummy balls and we're really satisfied with its, uh, its trajectory and accuracy so we'll be using this as the herbicide applicator. Hit, hit, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. I don't even know if we need herbicide. Hit <laughs> <laughs> two, three, four, five. That's gooing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to take out this Kahili ginger on the other side of the gulch and uh, you can reach on the left part and I'll reach on the right, okay? Take a name and fire. Safety's off. So what we're targeting now is this small patch of ginger across the way where we have ohia in the area so we'll be targeting uh, from a long range across this gulch we're probably looking at uh, about 120 feet away all right take aim safety's off commence firing We've already demonstrated the utility of HBT for long-range targeting of weeds, but we also think it has utility in basal bark applications. With the velocity that the projectiles come out of the gun, we've noticed that you can penetrate the bark layer. In this case, we're going to demonstrate its utility on strawberry guava. Safety's off. Is that sap that was drizzling down? Wow! Holy cow! That was badass. <laughs> <laughs>